friends. I found a new perfect vlogging spot. Should I show you where I'm at? <laughs> this is the barn behind me. Here's the doggy and some tumbleweeds. And these are some old calf pens, I guess. Those would be great, like, for chickens or whatever. Because we don't want calves. I'm so grouchy today! <laughs> the last two weeks in a row, two Sundays in a row, I've come home from church just grouchy. Which is bizarre and sad. Because church is a happy place and you should come home happy from church. But the kids have been so naughty in primary. <laughs> in our church, primary is for like the, oh, four to twelve year olds. And they, they kind of half them, so we, like the four to eight year olds come in first and they have a little lesson and they sing their little songs and stuff. But they have just been so wild and so naughty. And, I don't know, they're just driving me nuts. And you know what this means? They're going to uh, change the primary president is what's going to happen pretty soon. And they'll probably put me in as the new one, just because I have such a bad attitude about those kids. But their teachers aren't even trying. Anyway, love you, love the church, testimony of primary. It, it just, I don't know, it's just really frustrating when the kids are being so naughty. But, oh well, it's cool. Two weeks in a row. Or it's me. Maybe it's me. Because I feel like I want to bite everyone when I get home, too. So, I don't know. So be kind to your, to your mom. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, doesn't matter. This week, <laughs> I lost a pound. So I'm really happy with that. And my friend Ellie from Canada is having a, like a, a sugar detox um, week through her Facebook and her beach body situation and stuff, so that's exciting, and I'm gonna get in on that. Okay, there are things crawling on me. Like, there are bugs all over the place. <laughs> anyway, so if you guys are interested in that, I'll try to put a link um, to her video, and you can send her a message, but we're gonna start Monday, which is tomorrow, depending on when I get this up. Anyway, so that'll be good, but yeah, that'll be good. So, um, hopefully I can lose some more weight there. Um, I want to give a shout out to Mume Piola. You guys, a lot of you know her. She is like the fun, crazy aunt that everybody wishes they had. Maybe you do have her. Anyway, um, she has been vlogging forever, for a long, long time. And she had a really, um, like a big channel there for a while, but then she got click bombed, she said. And that's where, um, somebody will just go in on your channel and click on the ads a whole bunch of times and that's, that's me clicking ah. <laughs> click on the ads a whole bunch of times and then um i guess youtube thinks that you're doing it trying to make more revenue for yourself and they will discontinue your channel so she had that problem but um she's a grandma and she lives in virginia maybe i'm always embarrassed when i do these shout outs because i don't know everybody's details of their lives because there's just so many people out there you know and so anyway, I'm just going to make up stuff, I guess. If I don't know it, I'll just fill it in. But uh, she's got kind of a crazy home life and these crazy dogs. And honestly, and she's kind of got some health problems. And she's shrinking down to a little shell of herself. And it's making me nervous. But, um, and anyway, dogs and honestly, Mube, I hope that you do beat the heck out of your dog. if it, Because she, she got attacked by one of her dogs the other day. And it's a big Barney-sized dog. You know, you've seen Barney. But anyway, so good luck. And I'll put her link in there. And um, I want to, it comes with a naughtiness warning because she's kind of a naughty, she's kind of a naughty grandma, <laughs> but she's funny and she writes jokes. And anyway, she's a really good friend to YouTubers because she does a lot of nice shout outs and she actually goes and visits other YouTubers and calls them and has really just developed a really cool relationship with them. And so I was pleased when she found me and subscribed to me and introduced herself. So good luck, Mume. Good luck with everything because you have a crazy life. <laughs> anyway, but she's a really cool lady. Okay, and I also wanted to talk about, look, I got notes here. Um, the hangout that we just did that was really fun with the YouTube Mommy Meetup. Um, we had Kara, and we had Diana from Illinois, and we had um, Amy from Minnesota, and Dana, Dana from um, Pennsylvania, and um, let's see, Lydia from Alabama, and Kayleen from Saskatchewan. I like to say Saskatchewan like that, like Grover does <laughs> on Sesame Street. He's always like, Saskatchewan! Seriously, now the flies have found me, the bugs. Um, and I also wanted to sing a Saskatchewan song for her. Do you guys remember the Proclaimers? They were um, brothers from Scotland and they were popular in the early 90s and they had the crazy glasses. <laughs> anyway, and they would sing. See if I can remember it. 
I can tell the difference between margarine and butter. I can say Saskatchewan without starting to stutter. But I can't understand why we let someone else rule our land. Cap in hand. I know this is a little political for today, a little political for Kara's channel, but anyway, just wanted to sing that little song for her. Um, and I want to say congratulations to Kate and Rich, who are getting married this week. Um, maybe I'll put a little link to there, because you've got to see her blue hair. I'm really excited to see, like, if she does, like, a wedding video, um, for, because I'm sure she'll just have a, a really awesome Kate-like dress and Kate-like makeup, and it'll just be really fun. I'm excited for them. And I have a really cool idea in mind for her for a wedding gift, but it's something I want to make, and I don't have time for such strangeness, so we'll see if it ever happens, if it ever comes to fruition, but that would be great. And, bad news, my new boots do not fit. <laughs> I knew it! I knew! You can't buy boots online from a cheap uh, shoe place. It just won't work. They're, they're, they're like too tall, if that even makes any sense. I'm a really short person, and I thought they would fit on my calves okay, but they're just like really tight, and I don't think the zippers are gonna last, so I'm thinking about sending them back and trying to get something else, something different. Maybe something a little more cowgirl-ish? Because, you know, Kara's a cowgirl. Anyway, we'll see. But I'm really disappointed in that. And I hope they don't make me send back my nail polish. But anyway, so have a great week, you guys. And I, I don't know what's with my hair today, but I'm really enjoying it. It's the highlights and it's like soft curls. <laughs> anyway, have a great week, you guys. Talk to you later. Bye. The videotape that you guys are watching the PBR, Professional Bull Riders Association. And the... And his name is Bushwhacker. And why is that so funny? It's just interesting. Why do you have so many tails in your hair? They're high pigtails. No, they are. <laughs> there they go! Yeah! It's Bushwhacker. Here. What do you think? High pigtails. Do they make me look taller? <laughs>